Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. I recently put a video out on how you can create custom headers with OceanWP and Elementor. That's become a really popular video, but one of the most commonly asked questions on that video is, can you actually create custom headers and apply them to individual pages? The answer is, with the latest update of OceanWP, yes you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply custom headers on an individual page by page basis. So let's jump into WordPress and take a look at how we can do that quickly, easily, and with no fuss whatsoever. So let's jump into WordPress. Before we start this quick tip, if you like what we do around here and you'd like to help support us, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It doesn't cost you any more to purchase any of the extensions or themes or anything else listed there, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel. Anyway, let's take a look at how we can do this quick tip. So we get asked a lot on the channel, how can you use the OceanWP custom headers and can you assign them to individual pages? Well, with a recent update to OceanWP, you can do exactly that. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. First thing you need to do is come down to the theme panel and come to my library. Once you've done that, you'll see that I've already created a couple of different header options. I've got a header and header variation. Each one of these is de designed slightly differently. I've used Elementor to create these and the extension, that's the Elementor extension that's part of OceanWP's extension pack. That gives you more functionality and more control. So I'm not going to go over how I create these. I've covered these in a previous video. I'll link that in the description below so you can check that out. So I've created two different variations. To assign that is very easy. So let's come over to our pages. Uh, we'll take a look at all the pages we currently have. So I'm going to jump down to this page that I've created previously, a test page, and I'm going to click on there. Now you can see it's a normal layout, but what we have is the Ocean WP settings panel below the normal text area. If we jump down to the header section, you can see we have the option to display the top bar, which is the strip where you can have things like your phone number, your social media links, or anything like that. So you can enable or disable that. You can also enable and disable the header. But what we are looking for is the header style. Now, if we click and expand that out, you'll see we've got all the predefined layouts for the header that we've got as part of the theme, so minimal, transparent, and so on. So we could easily choose from any of those. But if we create our own custom ones, we can come down right to the bottom and we can choose custom header. Now, once we've done that, you'll see the new option pops up, select a template. So once we've done that, you can see I can expand that out and any of those templates that are created as part of my theme panel are all available to me. So I can say for this particular page, I want to use my header variation layout. So we're saying we want a custom header, use the template of header variation. I'll just click update or save the page. So we've created the update and all the contents now applied to that. So if we take a look at the test page, you'll see that I have a different menu set up. So let's just open that up. And you'll see we've got this menu style. Now, you'll also notice that we've also got the header section at the top with the top bar evident on there, which obviously I don't want because I've created my own custom top bar. Well, we can handle that, no problem. So let's just jump back to the admin, come down, and you can see if we come to the header section, we've got display top bar. If I disable that, that will simply turn that off. So I'll update the page, and we can just jump back in and take a look at this again. So now, as you can see, I've disabled the default top bar and replaced it with the one we created as part of our template. Our navigation sits to the left in this example. And if we go and take a look at it, any of the other pages which are using the standard default header section that I've set up, for example, we go to one of these, you'll see that the actual navigation is centered. It's slightly different. We've got the top bar, which is the default top bar. So we've now been able to quickly and easily go in and set up individual menu navigation or top bars on a page by page basis. We don't have to do it on every single page. We can leave the default and anything we want to change it on. We can assign that to the individual page itself. And that's all there is to it. It's very quick, very easy. And the latest update to Ocean WP makes it incredibly painless to deal with. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the content that's added every single week. And don't forget, if you'd like to support the channel and help us out create more great content, please consider using those affiliate links in the description below. Well, until next time, take care.